Okay, I finally got it set up a little bit better now. You can see that it scrolls through one track now. I had to delete uh, that and three of the setups I had for it and left it in the original setup. Um, but now I'm going to talk about this shift key. It's recorded, it's now a shift key. Uh, you hold shift and ha hit the uh, pitch, you got it in uh, sync. Uh, sh uh, record and tap says master. Alright. And I think, I can't remember how I got it all set up, but I, I got it wrote down. Let's see. Let me sit this down for a second. And record and the eject button. No, that does nothing. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, but the uh, record and uh, pitch bend buttons, they do uh, uh, go through the uh, it's a beat. Yeah, it's a beat move. And another thing I have is you hold record and press up on the bleep button. That does. Switches your uh, fiction from single to the multi, but another thing I got is uh, you hold it and, and press the reverse, or press it and let the reverse lock. Now, if you go to your loop, let it play. This has now become uh, changes your uh, your loops. So now you can shorten it with it and lengthen it, and you can do uh, what what is known as the G spin. sure you hold always to take that off because if you just lift off the mask scratch and search it's not going to do it it's still locked in so you can keep doing other stuff while you can cut effect on but the main thing is to cut it off you just simply do the same thing hold record and hit reverse This still does the same. And next, I'm going to try to uh, show you how to do uh, setting it up for another controller. Okay, what we're going to do, we're going to go through uh, Control Manager tab and Settings, and then we're going to go up here to Devices, Setup, and click Add, Import, and wherever you have your file, you're going to search for it. Usually, if you download it, it's going to be in your downloads. 
and you got these four different files. All four of them you have to get and download because there are different parts to this uh, setup. So we're going to download A, or we're going to import A. We're going to do the same for uh, the rest of the three parts. Now, as you see, we have a double of each one of these files. So what we're going to do is we're going to take one of the files, the bottom ones here, those are our new ones. We're going to click on one of those. We're going to let it load up. This is uh, part one we're going to pick. Now, when it pops up, you're going to go up here to import. See, it's already set on the first controller uh, that was set up. And what you want to do, you either want to, uh, for the first one, go ahead and pick these for uh, one unit, each of these commands for one unit. And then for the next one, like we're doing now, we're going ahead and select uh, the number two, new mark NDX 800 number two. Okay, and then what you want to do, you want to go to the B file and do the exact same thing for B file and the uh, C file and the D file. And you should have uh, two of them in this uh, in this uh, list here. Uh, same commands and, and same uh, controls same names but at the end you will see that it will say a number two beside the second uh, controller okay one thing I should have mentioned and I forgot to do is not only do you need to make sure you set your outports your imports to the right setting but you also need to take and make sure your outports are set to the right controller because if not uh, you won't get your LEDs to light up in the way they're supposed to now here we go. We have a section for controller one and a section for controller two. Now, we should be able to now we should be able to use see we have this one so I can go from A to C, B, and D on this controller. Put it on A. Okay, now on this controller. A, B, C, and D. So, theoretically, we could have two controllers set up for the same uh, deck. And we can jump around with uh, either side with these uh, controls as well. And I will be able to put, I will post these on uh, on uh, Native Instruments users accounts and uh, a link to it from uh, my website and uh, I'll put that, put that link on this video and uh, probably do maybe a little mix or something with them and then I'll put this video together.